want you to hit me as hard as you can. The 1990s are regularly regarded as the era of the thriller, particularly the so-called yuppie thriller, which often centered around upwardly mobile middle-class couples who wind up in the crosshairs of a maniac who wants to dismantle their lives. The first such thriller was arguably Fatal Attraction, which spawned a whole genre including movies like Pacific Heights, Internal Affairs, Malice, Bad Influence, Single White Female, and more. One such movie is this week's best movie you never saw, Unlawful Entry. Directed by Jonathan Kaplan, Helmer of The Accused, Unlawful Entry stars Kurt Russell and Madeline Stowe as a seemingly well-to-do LA couple whose existence is rocked when they fall prey to a home invasion. While they emerge unscathed, they become paranoid about their security, with an initially helpful cop, played by Ray Liotta, offering to help them out. Initially seeming like a swell guy, he turns out to of course be a madman who becomes obsessed with Stowe and similarly bent on demolishing Russell's life piece by piece so that he can seamlessly step into his shoes. Coming along at the height of Kurt Russell's popularity while Liotta was coming off of Goodfellas and Stowe was riding high after sending pulses pounding in Revenge and Last of the Mohicans, Unlawful Entry was a pretty big success for 20th Century Fox, grossing $57 million domestically and becoming a big video hit as well as a cable TV staple. However, in recent years, Unlawful Entry, like many films of this genre, has slunk into obscurity. It's never really discussed when looking over Kurt Russell's filmography, but holds up. He plays against type as a regular guy, he's even kind of a quasi yuppie. He always played working stiffs up to this point, look at The Thing or Big Trouble in Little China or even Overboard. So it's almost bizarre watching him sport very 90s double breasted suits while doing deals on old cell phones. It's as if they were doing tango and cash and he played tango instead of cash. I mean, it's crazy. Rambo is a pussy. No, it's snowing. Anybody want to get high? Yet, it works. Even though it still seems like the part was maybe written for someone like Kevin Costner or Dennis Quaid, it's a Gans type casting that I think really pays off. It was kind of risky because he was really just coming into his own as an action star at the time. But he still seemed pretty keen to stretch, as this was also the year of the great Captain Ron. Hey, get your hands off that. I was just moving it. I wasn't going to drink it. You bet your little booty you wasn't. You want a beer, you get your own beer. Madeline Stowe always excelled playing the warm-hearted dream wives of 90s heroes, but she also had something going on behind the eyes that suggested a resilience few of her contemporaries had, making her more modern in that aspect. She did get a star movie of her own a couple years later called Bad Girls, and it's kind of too bad she didn't come along later because I think she probably would have had a good career. Sadly, the amazing roles for women just weren't really there in the 90s. Too bad, but I think she's wonderful in this movie, and I'm kind of sad that we don't see her in much these days. The real MVP of Unlawful Entry is, without a doubt, Ray Liotta as the madman cop who makes their lives a living hell. While he looked like a leading man back then, Liotta always gave off the impression of having a very short fuse. He's charming as the initially helpful cop, only to go totally bonkers nuts once his character is unmasked as a psycho. There's a scene where he picks up a prostitute about midway through the film that's Liotta at his unhinged best. It's sleazy low-life whores like you. That's my problem. If anything, Unlawful Entry may have hurt Liotta's career, as he was then forever typecast as a psycho, not helped of course by Goodfellas and Something Wild. He tried to go family friendly in Karina Karina, but you kept waiting for him to, I don't know, snap somebody's neck. Although I quite liked his action hero turn in No Escape, and in fact, that was another best movie you never saw. This is a pretty slickly made film for the genre with a nice part for Roger E. Mosley, aka TC from Magnum P.I. as Liotta's world weary partner, who just knows things aren't going good for his partner but is reluctant to betray him until, you know, the time comes. 
Also, given all that's happening in the world these days, the film asks provocative questions about the relationship between civilians and cops, and there's a noteworthy scene where Russell's character is disgusted after watching Liotta beat the man who broke into his house. This also came out fairly close to the Rodney King verdict, so I'm sure the movie was just as topical back then as it is now. So I really do think Unlawful Entry is one of the 90s thrillers that's held up the best. It's top notch and definitely worth checking out and you can find it relatively reasonably for purchase on iTunes. It's a good start to a fun genre and if you guys like this, well, maybe we'll cover more of them here on the best movie you never saw.